And Allah is telling you, فَلَعَلَّكَ بَاحِعُ النَّفْسَكَ Maybe you will destroy yourself just because they don't believe. That's not your business. The only thing you have to do is to call them. But for the message to risk their heart is my business. That's what Allah tells him. فَلَعَلَّكَ بَاحِعُ النَّفْسَكَ أَلَّا يَكُونُوا مُؤْمِنِينَ And don't do that. The Prophet ﷺ was so <laughs> nervous that maybe he didn't do the job right. That's why these people are actually not believing in him. He did not say, you are bad. You know, before you blame others, you say, oh, I told you one time, two times, three times. Blame your method of communication, maybe. Maybe there is something that is coming. That's the way of Rasulullah. He never blamed the people. That's why Allah tell him, because of the Rahman, because of the fact that you are full with mercy, that all these people are surrounding you, are surrounding you. Even though you have the Quran, which is my word, the best message ever, and the companions who are around you have the best hearts ever. If this message was delivered to them in a way, in a harsh way, they would have left you. You can be speaking the truth, but if you do not do it right, people will not take it. If I'm here thinking that I am teaching you, I am commanding you, then I don't get it. Because whatever I am saying is for me and for you. One of our um, sheikhs was telling us that there was a father who was an imam somewhere. And he was not that knowledgeable. But his son happened to go and studied in the highest and biggest universities. When he came back, he was expecting one day his father would give him the minbar to give khutbah. Because he knew that he knew more than his father. Or way more. But when his father speaks, people cry. He says, this ignorant to all the man doesn't know anything. He makes people cry. When I take the mic, I would kill them. One day his father has somewhere to go and tell him, please son, give the khutbah. He says, I was giving the khutbah. I was citing the ayah, I was citing the verses and the hadith, and I saw people sleeping. He said, what's going on here? My father just know a few ayahs and he make them cry, I they sleeping. When the father came back, he told him, the father told him, you know what happened? Because when you were talking to people, it was you who took the place of God and the place of Prophet Muhammad. But me, when I talk to people, I am there sitting with them. Receiving from Allah and Rasulullah So whenever I do advise my brother and my sister, I do not consider myself to be the knower and then the ignorant. I do never consider myself to be the good and then the less good. I always want to consider myself that it is my responsibility to share this with my brother because it is the command of Allah that I should share. No more no less. But maybe I am even worse than him. Maybe. That's how we should live. The Prophet ﷺ never seen himself superior. When the Bedouin came, he would ask, who is Muhammad amongst you? What does that mean? It means he used to sit next to his Sahaba. Not on the throne, not on the chair, not on the bed, and then on the ground. No. But if he lifts his face and you see him, you would know who is Muhammad ﷺ. Was the, was the most beautiful man.